Deep squat, no problem with these three super simple exercises. Hi guys, welcome, Dirk Beckmann, ES Equilibrium State. In this video, I want to show you three super simple exercises to improve your deep squat. If you have followed my channel and if you speak a little bit German, then you know that for me, a deep squat is not simply a fitness exercise, it's also your natural resting position and also your natural toilet position. So it's very important that your body is able to perform this kind of exercise. Most people are not able to do it because their hamstrings and uh, their rotators are very, very short and so they can't get down into this position and their fascia is very tight. But with these three simple exercises, you will be able to do this deep squat uh, quite easy and um, it will be your natural resting position again. So exercise number one is sitting on the wall and you will need a wall for this and perhaps you also use a yoga mat or something like this so that your feet don't slip on the ground. And you will sit very close to the wall so that your pelvis, the back of your pelvis touches the wall and your feet are under your body and your feet or especially your heel should be elevated just a little bit. You don't want this gap to be too big because if, if it's too big then uh, your body will be afraid of uh, like damages because the stretch is too big. If, if the stretch is just a tiny bit so that your heel can drop when your body relaxes and then it's flat on the ground, then this stretch, this relaxing stretch is quite easy for your body and there won't be any panic so that muscles contract. So sit close to the wall and uh, keep your back quite nice and upright. Uh, you don't have to be like slouching like this, which is okay if you go to the toilet, but sitting like this, you could be quite erect. And you can actually watch TV or movies like this if you put your, your sofa or something or chair behind yourself that is not slipping away or just sit on the wall and you can um, yeah, watch TV or something like this and be in this position quite comfortably uh, for quite a long time. And so your body will adjust to this position without you struggling with the balance. So exercise number one, which is quite easy, and very comfortable, sitting on the wall. Okay, exercise number two is the gorilla walk. And you will need yeah, perhaps a yoga mat for this. You can also um, do it on the floor, but a yoga mat is a little bit more comfortable. I will show you two versions, the, let's say, professional version for people who can also perform a deep squat um, and a version for those who are just starting to learn it. Okay, you start in the squatting position and you place one hand in front of you and then you will place your foot, the same foot on the same side, right next to your hand. And make sure that you uh, lower your body weight on this side, you go as deep as you can and then you make the next step, you place the hand very close to you, don't make two big steps, just close to you and then you put your foot next to your hand and the hand stays on the floor. And yeah, just walk like this for some steps. Make sure that you're facing this way, that you're quite upright or as upright as you can be. Okay, the gorilla walk. If the deep squat is still difficult for you, then you can do it uh, from this position. Uh, your body is not as deep and you still put your foot next to your hand try to get as low as possible. If it's like this height, then it's okay. And then you do the next step and try to lower the body weight as low as possible. And over time, you will be like this. And then it's the perfect gorilla walk. Okay, for this last exercise, uh, you will need something like a broomstick or shovel stick or perhaps, um, yeah, some some martial arts stick or whatever and um, yeah I will show you how this exercise works. Go into your deep squat position as deep as you can be and as far apart or feet as far apart as you prefer. Then you will grab the stick on both ends far from, from each other both hands and you put the stick over your head. If it looks like this first for you no problem, but try to be quite upright. And then you will move from side to side, keeping the sides very long. And if your heel lifts off the floor, it's not a problem. Just let it happen, but try to be long in the arms and try to be long in your sides. And do this for some time. 
And you will see that each time you're in the middle position, your pelvis gets a little bit lower. And by doing so, you will not only increase your squat, you will also lengthen your sidelines and you will increase your shoulder mobility. And perhaps you can see that I'm already a little bit lower than before because it feels more comfortable for me. And uh, by doing this, you will increase your deep squatting position a lot. So guys, I hope you enjoyed these three little exercises. Keep on training and you will definitely improve your deep squat. It's really, really a simple thing to do those exercises. If you like the video, then give me a thumbs up or uh, share this video amongst your friends. Um, and if you haven't already, then uh, please subscribe to this channel because there are a lot more videos, uh, even some in English language. Just check the playlists for English level or English language content. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope to uh, see you soon in, on this channel. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Jack Beckman signing out.